I should have woken up. I think that's the hardest thing, is like, how long I stayed. I think that's hard. Like most people would have just given up like after two years and I was like, no, I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna do all the work to get this to work and it didn't work. <laughs> So I put Morningside out and then I disappeared. <laughs> and I don't know why. At the time, I didn't know why. I just didn't know where I'd gone. I like people asking me and I didn't know where I was either. Like I couldn't even answer that question. I think I told you this, like got into a, like a long-term relationship so young before I'd even really f figured myself out and then found like love and validation from that place. And then I created Phaser Days and found love and validation in, in like the fans. But I, I had never learned how to find it myself. And then I think after Morningside, I needed to find it myself and that's what I've been doing. And also changing the environments I was in to be conducive to that. I was putting my dreams ahead of my health. And I was putting my dreams ahead of Amelia. Like I was putting phase days ahead of Amelia. And it's actually not, it's, it has to be the other way around. And so I just had to grow up and be an adult and just like let go of my dreams and just be like, okay, bye, I'm looking after me. And then when I started looking after me, that's when everything came back. Ooh. Well, it's wishes make me work for it. <laughs> My wish will sort of come true. So seeing my things just strewn everywhere outside like that, that was scary and a whole new low for me. Like, especially amongst a bunch of other stuff my body was going through at the time. But weirdly it was also kind of good to be able to see the physical manifestation of how things really were. I could finally point to something tangible that was going on, you know. Yeah, so that was the point where people close to me started to catch on to what was going on and I started getting 
the help and support that I needed. But yeah, it's taken me a long time to also forgive myself. Sometimes leaving a situation doesn't feel safe. Um, yeah, so I've had to get over the self-blame of that. I had a cup of tea and I had some wheat fix. Maybe like E flat major seven. Oh, never heard. <laughs> never heard of Acidos. Mustn't be very good if I haven't heard of them. Is it a band? Who haven't you heard of? Phaser Days. Wait, what happened to her? She. She seemed to just drop off the mat. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. She hasn't done anything in so long. She just kind of dipped. I lost my voice for a year and a half, maybe even a little bit longer. And that was so scary because this is what I do to live and make money and create and it's like my outlet is being able to talk and sing mostly just sing mostly just whisper into my microphone <laughs> at 2 a.m and then so to lose that lose my voice was scary and like a really lonely journey and I didn't even want to tell anyone because it was so scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm okay. That one's just hard. about that was that I learned how to get it back through um, saying nice things to myself. <laughs> so lame, but like that's actually when it started coming back. I just looked in the mirror and told myself nice things. <laughs> which I hadn't done before, which is so dumb. This is a new way to play guitar. Something's gotta break, something's gotta break. Something's gotta give, something's gotta break. You just give and take, I just take and give. I think like when you can't hear yourself you can't do something like music I mean like I couldn't I just couldn't I couldn't even hear my own intuition and that's what I depend on to create and get myself on stage and build a world I just couldn't put out music I just didn't know 
who I was. <laughs> I don't know who I was anymore. I think I learned that no one else can give me the answers. I know what's right for me. Yeah, and I always have. I'm gonna say to my fans when I see them again, I'm gonna say hi, I've missed you so much and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I wanna hug you all big time. Yeah, I feel like as soon as I got myself out of those situations, I came back really quickly, <laughs> which is amazing. And I'm like really <sighs> proud of that, that the essence of who I am is still strong and still there. It's just maybe it was oppressed for a while. But now that I've just changed my environment and my situations, I'm just going with the current now, not battling other people's currents. I'm going downstream on my current. <laughs> And so, I feel like it all had to happen for some weird reason. Where well, you're saying how like now I feel invincible. Now I just don't feel so oh, plugged into what other people think, which is the best, most liberating feeling, right? And when you just go through all of that stuff, your body's trying to like scream at you and tell you. Now I listen to my body and I thank it. Whenever I'm like losing my voice, I'm like, wait, why? Am I not feeling good in the situation? And then I change my situation. And I like protect it like it's a princess. 